My guest tonight stands at the cusp of becoming a world champion. He's fought mostly here in Ghana, and this will be the first time he's stepping out of the country to take on a challenge in the boxing ring. He fights at a super middleweight level, and up until now, he's had a clean fight record of 22 fights, no defeat, and he's won all 22 fights, 17 of them coming by way of technical knockout. Abib Ahmed used to be an amateur boxer with Ghana's Black Pombes. He even campaigned for Ghana at the 2010 Commodore Games in India and then 10 professional in 2011. But on February 3rd, he gets to fulfill a lifelong ambition when he gets a crack at the WBO super middleweight title when he takes on Mexico's Gilberto Ramirez Sanchez, who has a fight record of 36 fights and he's won all 36, winning 24 of them by technical knockout. And he even beat At Hebram, the great German fighter who can play, who, um, Danish fighter who fights at super middleweight level. So is Habib ready to take that title from Sanchez? We are yet to find out. He's here as my guest tonight. Habib Ahmed, welcome to the game. Thank you. It's good to have you here. Thank you. Um, I'm sure there are a lot of people who have heard of you. I mean, there are a lot of popular boxes around, but mm. when you mention Habib Ahmed, a lot of people might not know you. Mm. So tell us about yourself. Hmm, well, because sometimes it's God raised people, not human beings. Yeah. So after I'm back from India, the 2010 Commonwealth Games, after I'm back from India, 2000 Commonwealth Games, I have an accident, so I could not go to train anymore. So after I get to where then I started. Okay. Then I attend professional. I have a manager that attend professional. All right. Yeah. So, um, 2011 when you turned professional? Yeah. Fought 22 times. Yeah. And how's it been so far, fighting professionally? It's been good. It's been good. But that's 22, 17 away of knockouts, all win. We are starting with Abib Hartman, who would fight for the WBO Super middleweight title. I have to correct a fact. In that interview, I made a statement that you have not even traveled outside the country. But that's yeah. not true, is it? Yeah, that's yeah, not true. Because I've been an amateur of almost five to six years. Yeah. And I've been Commonwealth Games. I've been African Games. I've been in Zone Games. So going, going for World Championship is not easy. We have to meet a lot of boxers. Yeah. That means a lot of boxes because you have to. I qualify from Namibia. I qualified for uh, Mauritius. I took bronze there before qualifying for World Championship in Milan, Italy. So if they say I didn't travel before, I don't understand. But what it is is that since you turned professional, have you fought outside Ghana? No. So this is really the first time you're fighting. First time in professional outside. And you are going to the United yeah. States yeah. to take on a Mexican who has been destroying everybody yeah. that he's fought. Yeah. And I'm going to surprise the world. But it's a big fight. Yeah, I know. It's a big fight. Do you know when um, Sanchez won the world title, he became the first Mexican to win the super middleweight title. No Mexican has done that before. Yes. And you, you saw his fight against Atta Abraham. Yeah. And then also against Hart and against Max. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He I literally saw. destroyed all of them. Mm. Are you not intimidated in any way? No, but that really scared me. Because I see a lot of boxes, I mean, good, 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 good boxes passing. When I'm in uh, Mauritius, uh, my first fight is the world number one. My first fight, my first opponent. And my coach told me, ah, this is your first fight. Your first fight. You are going to fight the world, world number one. So I know you can lose, but you find boxing. I say, no, I win him. I bet him, I say, I win him. Then go. I win the fight. That, that I took the bronze, that, that, that qualified me to the world championship in Milan. So okay. I have the confidence in me that I win, I'll take this title. So tell me about preparations. How, how has preparations been so far? It's been good. I've prepared very well. I've prepared very well, very, very, very well. What strategy is your coach preparing for this fight? Physical, condition, I have anything. I've been very, very, very well. Okay. And do, do you think the weather will be an issue for you? No, 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 no. Because we go on Saturday. So one week, one week is okay. February 3rd, you go on Saturday, yeah. you get in there, and you start your preparation, preparation. for this particular yeah, yeah, fight. I think that'd be okay. One week preparation, will be okay. And 
how are you going to approach this fight? Because um, your opponent is a southpaw, yeah. left-handed, extremely good, very good footwork from what we've seen in the videos. How are you planning to counter that? That's why you have to have your sparring partners support to, to sparring you. So I have a fine, uh, good boxers like Imale Mati. He's a good boxer. He's now coming. He's a national champion. He's now coming. He's a good boxer. So he's inspiring with me. I have a height, good lefty. Yeah. He's moving. So I'm, if I'm sparring him, like I'm sparring Gilberto. I see. You yeah. are what? 5'9? That's your yeah, height? Yeah. 5'10. 5'10? Yeah. And your opponent is going 6'2. Two. Six two, yeah. So he has an obvious height advantage. He, yeah. He'll probably have the reach advantage too, wouldn't he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So how are you planning to neutralize these weapons? So I have to use my power on him. I have to use my power to come down with his, uh, his power, uh, his strength. He's, he's like, he likes moving, but yeah, I use my power. Moving. Yeah, so I use my power to slow him down. I get power than him. <laughs> yeah, I get power than him. Mm. He get a rich hands, height, but I get power than him. So I'll slow him down. Wow. Yeah. It's going to be interesting. But you'll be fighting before a very hostile crowd. Though. A lot of the people in the stadium may likely be Mexicans, may be supporting yeah. him, definitely be supporting him. How are you planning to deal with that? Because how many people are going in your entourage? Just you, me, your trainer? My trainer. Your promoter? Promoter, manager. Against everybody else. Mm, how are you planning it's to similar do? as I'm going to games. Me and my coach and my teammate. And I'll fight a big sports stadium. So it's similar as I'm going to games. Mm, me alone there. And I win. I will win and come home. What will it mean to you to win the world title? Mm, to have that confidence in me. Yeah. yeah. How would that make you feel? If you're mm. able to beat Gilberto mm. Martinez Sanchez mm. on February, February 10th. 10th, yeah. How would that make you feel? Good. I feel good. I'm feeling good, uh, calling for more good boxers to fight. Yeah, I know there are more good boxers, good boxers there in my weight division. I've, uh, I, I forgot his name. Um, Robert, uh, no, no, no. Uh, that super middleweight boxer. I forget his name. A lot, a lot of big boys, big boys that are there. So after I win these fights, I've been calling them. I'll pack them like the pack sardine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure. I'll pack them like the pack sardine. Yeah. 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 Wow. I, I like your confidence. And, yeah. and, and we'll really be backing you and be hoping that you're able to do it for Ghana on the, on the 3rd of February. Yeah. So I'll leave you with your final message. You have the camera to yourself. And, and, what would you like to say to Ghanaians before you leave for the U.S. on Saturday ahead of this fight? Hmm. I need their support and their prayers. That would be what Dinda means. So I need their support and their prayers. Like, they should keep on praying, praying, praying for me. And I hope I'll bring the distance to my motherland Ghana. So what's your prediction? Inshallah. 12 rounds, technical knockout? I have a 12 bullet on my pocket. So if I shoot one, two, three, it's not coming then, that'll be a final. So I have 12 bullets in my pocket, 12 bullets in my gun. So I've been shooting. If I shoot one, up to five, it's, it's going down. That's, that, that's all. I'll take it. Habib, we wish you all the best. Inshallah. And all the best in the U.S. Vim, vim, inshallah. All right. So that's, that's Habib Ahmed. He campaigns at the super middleweight level. He's taking on um, Gilberto Jamerez Sanchez of Mexico, who is the WBO super middleweight world champion. That fight is taking place in Corpus Christi in Texas on the 3rd of February 2018. So it's a little over a week from now. And who knows? As he puts it, he's going to knock his opponent out or win one way or the other. And by February 3rd, we might be celebrating a new world champion from Ghana.